Hey guys, how are we doing today? Are you one of the people that keep hearing about Cody and wondering how you can get it on your fire stick and get it up and running right? Stick around, I'm going to show you right after this. Okay guys, so the app we're talking about today is Cody. Basically what Cody is, is it is an app that allows you to be able to watch different movie contents and stuff like that. Um, you can put pictures on there, you can put music on there, you can play programs through it. It's a very well versed app that you can use for a lot of different things. So it's kind of, in a way, your all-in-one media center. Now. Um, when you load just a blank version of Cody, you are not going to get add-ons with it. Um, you're just going to get Cody. Whether you're using um, Cody 16 or you're using the newer version, Cody 17, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get a fully loaded version. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get Cody on there. And then in future videos, I will show you how to load different apps in there that will allow you to watch different content, whether it be movies or TV shows or music. Um, so, basically, just an overview. You have your systems where you can get in here and do some, you can change your settings. Um, you can go into your file manager. You have your programs where if you download any type of um, program, like a game or something like that, it's going to show up here. You have your music where if you download a music player, um, you'll be able to access it through here. You also have your video add-ons where if you're looking for a specific um, movie that you want to be able to play or something along those lines, you're going to be able to go in and you can um, watch those through here. And then if you want to be able to host pictures and stuff like that that you've saved onto your Fire Stick, you'll be able to access them through here. So that's a uh, brief overview on what Cody by itself has to offer you. Now I'm going to show you how to get it onto your Fire Stick. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your home screen and you're going to go down to ES Explorer. Okay, then you're going to go down and you're going to click on Favorites, and you're going to go down and you're going to hit Add. Now in Path, you're going to type this exactly like I do, and I'm going to have this down below for you guys so you can actually just go there and make sure you're spelling it right. Okay, and then down in Name, you're going to go over to that, and you can put anything. For this case, I'm just going to be putting AA. Click Next, click Add. Now you're going to go down and you're going to look for AA. Click on that and it's going to open up the top tutorials page for you. Now, there's a couple different Kodi options in here. And what I'm going to do is I already showed you Kodi 16 just there. So I'm going to actually install the Kodi 17 app so at the end of the video I can show you what that one looks like and a little bit around that one. Now, if what you want is Kodi 16, you're going to actually go and you're going to click on the Fire Stick Pack with Kodi and MobDro in it. Now, if you haven't seen my video for MobDro, check it out. It's an app that I definitely recommend if you're looking for a streaming TV app that you don't have to pay money for. Now, if you want Kodi 17, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and you're going to click Kodi 17 for Fire Stick and Fire TV app. Now I'm going to also mention guys that if you're running a regular Android box, this app will work for you as well. I've actually used it on my Android box, the Netsbox A1, and it installed perfectly fine on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that, and it's going to automatically start the download. So I'm going to fast forward ahead of this so we don't have to waste time watching the download. Okay guys, so now once it's done downloading, you're going to get this pop-up. So you're just going to click on Open File, and you're just going to highlight that and click on that. And that's going to start your download and install for you. Go down and click on Install. And then once it's done installing, you can go over and click Open. 
Now, this is Cody 17 Krypton. The, the version that I showed you when we first started this video was Cody 16 Jarvie. Now, there's a lot of mixed feelings about Cody 17. People that have been using 16 for years have um, basically said they missed the setup for 16 um, on 17. Me personally, I actually like 17 better. I find it easier to navigate around. So, here you have movies, TV shows, music, music videos, TV, radio, and add-ons. Now, add-ons is going to be your big thing. Anything you put on to Cody is going to show up in your add-ons. So, whether it's Exodus, or Mashup, or Bob, or Sports Devil, which I'll make videos to show you how to set those up um, in the future, but I think it's important that first you actually get Cody on there and know how to use it. Now, if you have any apps on your Android system already that can do any type of streaming, you can also access those right here. So as you see, my set TV is there, PlayStation View is in here, um, and you know my Internet Explorer, Terrarium, things like that are showing up in here. So if I wanted to watch those, I'd be able to access them here. Okay, now, um, as I said earlier, there's a lot of people that they don't like. I'm going to show you something real quick that helps you to unclutter the main screen right here. So, you go on to movies. Now, unless you're actually using an app that runs right through Kodi that plays your movies that's not Exodus, this is not going to work for you. So why have it there? So we're just going to go over and we're going to click remove this from the main menu. You're going to do the same thing for TVs, the same thing for music, the same thing for music video, um, the same thing for regular TV, radio. Then you're going to skip over that, go down to favorites, remove that, remove the weather. These are all apps that you're not going to need. Now the nice thing about this is is that when you log in, all you're going to do is you're just going to go right down to add-ons, and boom, that's right there. It's the first thing that's going to pop up, so it's just less screens you have to go through to get to this. Now, once you're in here, right now you have all you're seeing is the Android apps. So you're seeing my set TV, you're seeing Terrarium and things like that. But if I had Exodus on here, Bob, um, Sports Devil, Mashup, if those were on here, they would be right above that where it would say Kodi add-ons or Kodi apps. So you'd be able to go in there and access those. So this is a really powerful media center for you guys, basically, and it can do a lot. Now, pros and cons, guys. So the pros on this are almost endless. People are constantly putting out new add-ons for it. There's constantly new builds out there and you know it just it runs really well. There's been a lot of talk about is Cody legal, is Cody illegal. Cody is completely 100% legal to use. Um, what is illegal as far as Cody is concerned right now? If you were to take a Fire Stick or an Android box, put Cody on it, fully load it, which means you're putting all the add-ons and all the different apps that can run through Kodi onto it, and then sell it, now you've broken the law. But with just using Kodi and just streaming movies and TV shows and stuff through it, you're technically not breaking any laws as of yet. In the future, will that change? No one knows as of right now, but as far as right now, today goes, you're not breaking any laws by doing it. So, some of the cons. Kodi is a fairly big file. Um, once you start putting all the different add-ons on it and builds, you can really start to bog down your system. If you're working with something like the Fire Stick that doesn't really have a lot of storage space on it and doesn't have the ability to add more to it, um, you can really fill up your Fire Stick really quick and it's going to slow down the performance on it if you were to put on a full build on here. Now what a build is guys, 
is a build is basically somebody has done all the work for you. They have gotten the apps that they feel work best with Cody and offer you the most. And they put it all in one bundle. And when you load it on, it goes on there and you have all the different add-ons. Sometimes you get a different screen uh, background. Sometimes you get a different interface looking um, on your Cody. But you have all these different add-ons. Now, there's pluses and minuses to that. If you're somebody that's new to Cody and you want to just go in there and use one specific app and get to know that app, um, using a build can be overwhelming for you because there's so many things in there you don't know what to go and access and what to use and what not to use. If you're somebody who wants to have everything at the tips of their fingertips and have multiple ways of accessing the same material, then a build isn't bad for you. The reason I don't like them is because, as I said earlier, the more apps and the more add-ons you have running through Kodi, the more it's going to slow down your whole entire system. If you're running a Navita Shield or a Nextbox A1 where you can add an extra 16 gigs onto it and space isn't really something you're worried about, a build isn't necessarily a bad thing for you. But if you're running a Fire Stick, as this video I am, you can really slow it down and slow down the performance of it. And then videos will start to stall out on you or they'll buffer and things like that. Because the, the Fire Stick itself is just using all of its process power to navigate through all the different add-ons you have. Now, one thing that will help you when you're not using Kodi is right up here you have an on off button. Whenever you're ready to leave Kodi and it's in Jarvis as well just click on that and that's going to actually give you the option to exit out. So you're just going to click that and you're exiting out and what you've done is you've shut Kodi off so it's not running in the background at that point. And that's something that is important to do because as I said with it running in the background it's going to slow down your whole entire fire stick. So guys I hope this uh, video helped you out with getting Cody on there and being able to see the two different versions that are out there right now. My personal recommendation is 17, but if you've been using Jarvi, it's still out there to use too. Please like and subscribe and uh, comment down below. And sorry about the dogs in the background. Have a great day.